You made that clear today. Is it your expectation that December 15th tariffs will uh, be applied? Well, unless there's some real reason to postpone them, if there were a little bit of time needed for more talks, he probably would postpone it. If enough substantive progress had been made, he might. It, you really have to look at the exact situation as we get a little closer to that time. Do you, is, he, is he serious when he says it might be better to delay it to after the election? And oh. what would the consequences be, be uh, from that? Well, I think he's, he's serious, certainly in this regard. That takes off the table something that they may think gives them some leverage. Because once the election occurs, and the president seems to be in very good shape for the election, once it occurs and he's back in, now that's no longer a distraction uh, that could detract from our negotiating position. But ultimately, I mean, even if he does get reelected, that's four more years. I mean, they're still, they still kind of have that leverage on the table because we have a democratic system here, right? Well, we have the leverage because we have much more ammunition left against them than they have against us. It's one of the few good things about a trade deficit is you have more bullets you can fire than they have that they can fire. They're pretty well out of bullets. Well, where, where, so how are you feeling about things? I mean, we have talked about this issue now with you <laughs> for years at this right. point. We've had sort of the same conversation. Are you optimistic still that something will get done uh, in the next, let's call it, few months? Well, I'm optimistic we'll eventually get something done for several reasons. One, they have their own economic problems in China, particularly the hollowing out of the supply chains that's occurring. Even before the trade disputes, there were people starting to think maybe China is not the cheapest place in the world to manufacture anymore. Now, with all this uncertainty, there's a clear movement of supply chains over to Vietnam, to Malaysia, to Bangladesh, to all kinds of other countries. That's a trend that's going to continue, especially as long as there's the trade uncertainty. But aren't the new steel and aluminum tariffs on Brazil and Argentina, some want to argue that that's an admission that they do have partners, China. They do have global partners who are willing to work with them and supply them. Well, I don't think the Brazil and Argentina things have anything to do with China. Uh, we're Brazil's main customer for steel. Um, that's why they're so upset about it. Brazil ships us over 4 million tons a year of semi-finished, and that's over 4 percent of our total steel consumption. So they're, they're a very important player here. But uh, the president's reasoning that he announced for putting the tariffs was not anything about China. It was about currency manipulation. I'd like to come back to this idea of the next 12 days and December 15th, because it's certainly being watched closely by the market as a barometer sure. of how far or how much progress has been made. I mean, it's only a week and a half or so. Right. What are you expecting between now and then that conceivably could change the, the way you're looking at it so that they would not be applied, those tariffs? Well, there, there is always the chance of a breakthrough. And everybody is hoping for that. I do agree with the president. The Chinese want a deal. We want a deal. But it has to be a deal that's appropriate. I thought we'd had a breakthrough already. I mean, that seems to be the sense of many people that we've made that breakthrough. You don't have a breakthrough until it's in black and white, on paper, signed, sealed, and delivered. What we had was an agreement at the 40,000-foot level, 40 to 50 billion of agricultural purchases, things of like that. But going from there to what will it actually be, what will be the products, how do you deal with pricing, how do you deal with market conditions, how do you deal with the contingency that they don't perform? Those are all questions that you don't deal with at the 40,000-foot level, but you must deal with to make a real deal.